Hi guys, we are going to go over lesson 2-4, make arrays to find totals. So if you haven't listened to my 2-3 video about um, arrays, I'll go ahead and go back to that 2-3 because that gives the beginning kind of part to what arrays are and how to find the rows and the columns. If you already watched that or you're good with rows and columns, then we're going to go ahead and move on. So first I'm going to go over our little cheat sheet right here. So remember rows go left to right or horizontal and columns go up and down or top to bottom, vertical. So remember rows are like rows in a movie theater. They go left to right and columns go up and down. So we're gonna start off with um, a couple story problems. Just make sure that you guys understand the rows and the columns. So our first story problem says, Ryan's garden has three rows with five apples in each row. How many apples are in his garden? So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this out for you guys. I recommend drawing it out also. So here we go, we have three rows. So that means that there's gonna be three rows. I'm gonna do that right now, there's three. Now there's five apples in three rows. So I have one apple right there, two, three, I'm make that little space, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So now we have three rows. Remember, these are rows. And then these are columns. So we have five columns and three rows. So let's go ahead and fill in our by rows. So we're gonna look right here, our one row, two rows, and three rows. So in each row we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So remember our arrays are repeated additions. So that means that the same number is gonna be continuously in our problem and added together. So we have five plus five plus five. So to figure this out, you can either do make this into a 10, it's easier for you, and then you have plus five. So 10 plus five we know equals 15, or you can go ahead and count all of these little boxes to see how many apples that he has. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase these. I'm gonna put these back on there, five, five, Five equals 15. All right, now we're gonna look at the columns. So the columns go up and down. So it's this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we're gonna count how many apples are in each column. So we have one, two, three. We're gonna put a three down here. One, two, three, put a three down here. One, two, three, put a three down here. One, two, three, put a three down here, and then one more set of three. So we're gonna add all of them up. <clears throat> if you know three plus three, it equals six, and then you can do another one, three plus three equals six. So if you know six plus six equals 12, and then you have three more, so 12, 13, 14, 15. So he has 15 apples in his garden. You can always pause this video to make sure that you get all this written down and understand it. But we're gonna go ahead and move on. So we have, Cynthia has six shelves in her pantry. She puts two cans of green beans on each shelf. How many cans of green beans does she have in all? So, Cynthia has six shelves. So shelves go horizontal, right? Most of them in your pantry. So those are gonna be our rows. So she has six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then she has two cans in each uh, column or each shelf. So we're gonna have two cans and we're gonna go ahead and count them up. So our rows, remember, are right here. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. So those are our rows. And in each of those rows, we have two cans. So I'm going to go ahead and put two, 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 and two, because we have six. We have six twos right here, and we're going to go ahead and skip count by twos because that's what we've been working on. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So she has twelve cans of green beans. Now we're going to go ahead and look at it by columns. So remember, columns go up and down. So here's one column, and here's our next column. And in each column, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six cans in each column. So six plus six equals 12. So that is how we figured out our rows and our columns. We used arrays to be able to figure and help us out with our story problems. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Bye.